everyone, welcome back to The Local Loop. And today we are so pleased to bring to you Nora King from Nora King & Associates, and she is an appraiser. She owns her appraisal company. Thank you, Nora. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so, um, you know, we as agents always do CMAs. We, you know, tell people, we help people, you know, determine how much they should bid on a house, what the value is. And then we always say, well, you want to make sure that an appraiser agrees with you because obviously the bank gives them the mortgage. And, you know, I guess we just had some questions as to like, you know, how does one determine that one house that has, you know, basically the same square footage has an additional bedroom? Like, does that count in value? Like, how do you come up with your values? As appraisers, what we really look for is the quality of the construction, mm -hmm. the condition of the home, the location. And then we typically stay within 15% of the gross living area. That okay. does not include finished basement areas. Those are always treated separately, and those are federal guidelines. Appraisers don't appraise based on price per square foot. They're mm -hmm. really appraising based on um, the similarities between the homes. Which is huge information, because I feel like people coming from New York City are like, Price dollar per square foot. It's yeah. this, this, yeah. and yeah. Totally not. Right. No bank accepts it. Because sometimes you just also have a house that might just be really well done and your comps just were not that well done. Right. And you just have to write about it and explain what you did and explain the adjustments. Right. And it comes down to the adjustments and the appraisers really understanding how to use adjustments. And as an appraiser who's trained a lot of appraisers and yeah. has had bad ones and good ones work for me. Right. You can tell a lot about an appraiser by how they make their adjustments. Interesting. Yeah. Adjustments become really key. I've right. also heard from other appraisers that like after a certain point, I don't know, with all these large homes, yeah. say in backcountry, it doesn't matter how much square. Yeah. F so is there That's a magic really, number? You know, it's usually around 5,500. Okay. I start like. You know. So the owners that are like, I have 8,000 square feet, yeah. it should be X because it's dollar per square foot, you yeah, know, right. and that, yeah. I mean, the trend that we're seeing right now, not so much in Greenwich, but well, except for backcountry Greenwich, is mm -hmm. that people want smaller homes, they yeah. want smaller yards. Right. They want less maintenance. Yeah, and yeah, we're finding that for sure. Well, thank you so much All for right. spending this time and giving us a little education. Right. We'll have your information below. So if anyone wants an appraisal, it's not a bad thing to have, right? All right. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.